Make sure you subscribe to the new Line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description. A Prayer to Apply the Blood of Jesus for Protection When Moses had almost led the Israelites out of Egypt, Almighty God commanded them to apply the blood of a lamb on their doorposts. The blood symbolized their relationship with God and preserved them from God's judgment on Egypt. Jehovah instructed them to always remember that day by celebrating the Passover feasts. Moreover, this act presaged the suffering and death of Jesus in which we would be saved. Revelation 12:11 clarifies it. They have overcome him through the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Thus, the only way to overcome the devil with his demons is to apply the blood of Jesus. The Israelites could not have been preserved unless they pleaded the blood of the Lamb on their doorposts. And we cannot be protected and kept unless we apply the blood of Jesus, the real Passover Lamb in our lives and everything else that concerns us. Applying the blood of Jesus averts the enemy's access to your life. Together with his kingdom, the devil cannot stand when you learn how to plead the blood of Jesus in your life. Without the shedding of Jesus' blood, there could be no victory. It could be hard for us to encounter victory in our lives without Christ's blood. Applying the blood of Jesus for protection should be an everyday thing. We need to understand that the devil has not given up his weapons. Until he is destroyed, we must always be covered with the blood of Jesus. This is not a physical application, but a spiritual one. We cannot proclaim victory until we live and experience the victory that Christ Jesus attained through his precious blood. You can pray this prayer every day. Let us pray. My God and Father, I am in your presence with a repentant heart, asking you that you may forgive me for every sin I have committed. Heavenly Father, I approach the throne of grace with boldness, being grateful for Jesus dying for me on the cross, that I may obtain complete access to you. I declare, Almighty God, that you are my Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who looks ahead and makes provision for me. I am asking by faith that you may meet all my needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ, by faith in what you have done, I now apply your blood over myself, my family, and everything that concerns me. Father, I pray that you will protect my family and I from the evil one. I pray that you will be a shield about me, above, behind and beneath. I stand firm on this promise, Lord. You are my protector, my shield and my strength in times of trouble. You will never leave me or forsake me. Of this I am assured. I place my faith completely in you, where I find comfort, peace and rest. My declaration today is no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up in judgment will be condemned in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to preserve me from evil, temptations, sin, afflictions, calamity, anger, and any other works of the devil. I apply your blood, Jesus, over my soul, mind, spirit, and body. I plead the same blood over my spouse and children's lives. Also, I place everything in my life under the blood of Jesus. My job, marriage, finances, time, and growth. I decree that Jesus Christ is in me and goes before me. God's angels encamp around me and beneath me and are the loving arms of the Almighty God. I ask that the precious blood of Jesus would give my family and me perfect spiritual, mental, and physical protection from what may hurt us in any form or shape. Although I do not see them, I know your angels are protecting me and my family, because it says in your word that you shall give your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they shall bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. 
I thank you, Father, for this wonderful reality that I am protected in more ways than I could ever imagine. I give you all the glory and honor for this. In the name of Jesus, I plead and bind his blood against every demonic spirit, the spirit of rebellion, spells, yokes, and wicked declarations, confusion, discouragements, or anything that leads me into an ungodly lifestyle. I also apply the blood of Jesus over my home, finances, and everything that concerns me. Lord Jesus, I apply your blood over my subconscious and conscious thoughts and over every sleep that I may have. I apply the blood of Jesus over anyone that I am connected with, and I decree no evil will come near them. I plead the blood of Jesus over my going out, my coming in, and my getting up. I am confident that God will preserve my life, cover me with his feathers, and I will find refuge under his wings. I thank you that I can trust you to protect me and my family from all harm, Today, I believe that no evil will befall us and that no plague will come near our dwelling. I pray to receive divine wisdom from you, God, so that I will operate my life and affairs according to the will of God. I am so grateful for your word. Therefore, I apply the blood of Jesus Christ as my lawful evidence to obtain all the promises you have spoken concerning me. Father, your word says in 3 John 1, 2, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well even as your soul keeps well and prospers. I decree this word is manifesting in my life. No sickness can befall me for Jesus to overcome every sickness. Therefore, Lord, because of Jesus' blood that was shed for me on Calvary, the blood that also redeemed me from the kingdom of darkness and washed my sins away and purchased my divine healing. I request now that all sickness in my body may be healed. May your healing power flow from the top of my head to the soles of my feet in Jesus' mighty name. Fill me, Lord, with the Holy Spirit, that I may do what is right and glorify God with my life. I plead the blood of Jesus to my tongue and lips. I ask you, Father, to cleanse me of everything that I have uttered that does not glorify your name. I nullify every idle word I have spoken to cause delay and stagnation in my life in the name of Jesus. I also apply the precious blood of Jesus over my eyes that I may start seeing in the spiritual realm with clarity. I plead the blood of Jesus over my ears to cleanse them from any wickedness, slander, gossip, and degradation. I ask you, Lord, to cause my ears to hear your voice and word concerning my life, ministry, and purpose. I decree and declare that I am made holy, sanctified, and set apart by the precious blood of Jesus. I decree that the precious blood of Jesus has redeemed me from all the traps, wiles, and schemes of Satan's work. Thank you, Father, that my life has been preserved and protected from all evil attacks through this blood. I am victorious, and greater is he that lives in me than he that lives in the world. Father, thank you for all you have done for me through the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Now I just want to read these verses over your life. Let each of the promises in these verses be true in your life. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen thee. I will help you. I will uphold thee with the hand of my righteousness. Thessalonians 3.3 3. But the Lord is faithful. He shall establish you and keep you from the evil one. What a wonderful verse. God is going to keep you from the evil one. 
He who dwells in the shelter of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the fowler and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His pinions and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Psalm 91, 1 through 4. Make sure you subscribe to the new Line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description.